Hello guys, welcome back to my review channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about free video editing software. So I'd like to start this video off with uh, DaVinci Resolve 12.5, which is by Blackmagic Design. So this one is completely free and it works on Mac, Windows, and Linux, which is the amazing part. So to download it, you just click download. Um, as long as you have stable internet, this should download without a problem. So, the little thing here is DaVinci Resolve is for Mac and Windows, while DaVinci Resolve Studio is for Mac, Windows, and Linux. The difference here is the Studio is the one that you're going to have to pay for, sadly, but DaVinci Resolve's normal stuff is completely free, and everybody either has a Mac or Windows. There's very few people that have just a plain Linux computer, um, but for those people, sadly, you will have to pay for the Studio version. I believe that they do give you a free 15 or 30 day trial though, which is a good thing. So second on the list is Lightworks. So Lightworks is another video editor. As you can see, you can export to SD, HD, and 4K. This one's another amazing one. Um, and this one you do not have to pay for at all. It's completely free, free for Windows, Linux, and Mac which is the thing that everybody's looking for, is something free. Um, then it brings me to my next one, which is a Vidimux, is what I believe, how you pronounce it. Now, this one, I believe, is only available for um, Windows. Oh, no, it's not. It's available for Linux, Mac, and Windows, which is amazing. So, for Linux, they give you this normal... Linux version right here, and then they give you the repositories for the specific Linux um, software. So there's Ubuntu, Debian, and Mandriva. Now, those are the most popular Linux providers. Um, the most popular one being Ubuntu, which I've used before. Um, so, pretty much those Linux ones are the ones where, like, you get a Mac or a Windows computer, and maybe you just don't want to use it for what you bought it for. And so you decide to put that on there, and there you go. Good thing is that if you have a Mac, you can always put the software back if you wanted to, because the recovery drive is not going anywhere. Okay, so to my next one, which is Debug Modes Wax. This one is only available for Windows, sadly. Um, it's not that visually appealing, but it is something that does work. So if you are on Windows, this does work. Um, pretty much all of the editors I'm showing you, you're able to edit pretty much anything in there. Um, most of them have been updated to support 4K as well. So this brings me to my next one. This is another one that's sadly only for Windows. This one's called Virtual Dub. So this one allows you to edit your videos, but you have to go ahead and download the plugins and stuff that they tell you. Um, this one's for 32-bit and 64-bit Windows platforms, and this has been tested all the way up to Windows 7. Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10 have not been tested with this, but I'm pretty sure that they work because most software works on the newer versions of Windows without a problem. Then comes my favorite one, which is called Blender. Blender is a video editor, 3D animation software. It is this freaking amazing sweet and no none of these people have sponsored my channel but I'm just gonna tell you this one caught my eye because of the fact that there's all of this stuff put in here so you just click let me just go ahead and click on features and let me show you some of the things that they have photorealistic rendering fast modeling realistic materials fast rigging animation tool set sculpting fast UV and wrapping full compositor, amazing simulations, game creation, camera and object tracking, library of extensions, video editing, and the file formats that are supported are pretty much every single file format as you can see here. The most important file format that you want to most likely use if you're editing video is QuickTime or MP4 because those are the most popular types of video, video editing um, files. 
those are the ones that are going to be supported on more platforms, more video editing services. So those are the ones that you kind of want to stick with. Now one thing I would like to mention about Blender is the 3D editing software on here is actually really close to a, a software called Maya, which is by Autodesk. And that's, let me tell you, that software is really expensive. I'm telling you like thousands of dollars pretty much a month just to use it. And it's seen right here completely for free. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the next one, which is called KDen Live. So this one is another free one, and this one is available on all three platforms. Windows, Mac, and Linux. So as you can see, it says GNU, Linux packages, Linux cross distro packages, Windows, and Mac. Now, this one um, actually tells you the meaning behind their name, which Kden Live is KDE Nonlinear Video Editor. So this originated on GN GNU slash Linux platform. Before it was on any other platform. So honestly, guys, take advantage because these are all free. Now to the two softwares that you get free automatically when you buy these computers. So, if you buy an Apple computer, you of course get iMovie completely for free. All you do is click download for iOS or Mac. If you own an iPhone, you can get it for free as well. Here's a little thing about it. In the App Store, it doesn't show it as free. It shows it as you have to pay for it. Um, the only reason why you would have to pay for it, though, is if you bought your MacBook or your iPhone second hand, then you don't get the free download. Then you have to pay for it. If you buy your product refurbished from Apple or brand new from Apple, you do get the download. So just think about that when you guys are buying your MacBook Air, MacBook, or MacBook Pros, and also if you guys are buying any iPhones. Next is the very, very last one, which is Microsoft's free option, which comes usually pre-installed as long as you're doing updates on your computer, which is Movie Maker. Movie Maker is wrapped into Windows Essentials 2012, so if you go into there, I mean, you go to this website, which all of these websites will be linked down below, and you'll be able to download it for free. It does say Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. But I believe that it also works on Windows 10, because Windows 10 is pretty much every version of Windows mixed together. Okay, so this is part two of the video where I'm going to be telling you guys some video editing stuff for your phone. So maybe you got an iPhone and, you know, you don't have money to upgrade, you know, everybody's struggling in, world, in this world. So, you know, gotta make sure it's fair for everybody. First things first, if you have an iPhone and you bought it, you get iMovie completely for free. Like I've said in the first part, all you do is click download. As long as you bought it from Apple or you bought it refurbished from Apple and it's brand new to you and Apple knows it's brand new to you from a verified provider, you get iMovie for free. Next is you get you can get Adobe Premiere Clip completely for free on the Apple App Store or you can get it on Google Play. So it's one that is kind of for both. And it's also very amazing. You know it'll be pretty good because it's from Adobe and they have one of the best video editing softwares that you can buy. Um, so remember all these links will be linked down below. Then there's also Video, video Editor Master. This is for Windows. Don't think that I left you Windows Phone people out in the dust, okay? Because I'm gonna make sure that I make sure I'm gonna make sure that you guys are able to get one too. Because you know everybody, there's different phones in the entire world. This one's available on PC and mobile, which means you can get it on your tablet from Microsoft, your phone from Microsoft, and your computer. And this one's completely free. Then the very very last one is sadly if only for iPhones. It's called YouTube Capture. You can record your video, edit your video, and everything and upload it all from your iPhone. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. Thumbs this video up if you liked it. And leave a comment down below of something you guys would like to see done on this channel. Anyways, I hope to see you guys next time.